Well, Aaron, are you scared of snakes too? I know spiders. Yes. A two-headed spider. Look, anything that slithers or crawls that's creepy and just not friendly, yes. And if you have a pet snake and you think it's friendly, no. No. They're all dangerous. They're all out to get you. Right? Right. Look, I'm not alone in thinking this. Let me bring in my good friend, Arabella. She's, she's seven years old. Come on over here. Uh, good to see you this morning. Well, thanks for seeing me here. All right, so are you afraid of snakes? You can just nod your head or... I'm not afraid of snakes. You're not afraid of snakes. Okay, of course. Of you are afraid of spiders. So am I. High five that. All right, I want you to help me out with the weather for today, okay? Now, uh, first off, what we're going to do, we're looking at all the strong winds yesterday. They were, they were pretty big, 70 mile per hour winds. Um, what you want to do to, to explain to the viewers how big the winds were, go like this. Crazy, I know, it was that strong. I can't believe it either. And then the wind speeds were just as about as strong in Ridgecrest at 38 miles per hour. I know, so that's going on. And now the winds are still pretty busy. They're pretty, they're blowing away over in the, the Grapevine area. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I know, that's, that's how they kind of feel about it too. But the positive thing is what that did is it brought in all the cool air. Does it feel a little chilly in here today? It does feel pretty chilly in here today. Well, it's because of this front that came through yesterday. Let's do this. I want to stand, I'm going to stand right with you. Okay, I'm going to stand right here. We're going to point. Use your hand to point out right here. Other way. <laughs> other hand. Yeah, see, when you're on the green screen, everything is backwards. So when you point right, right is left. So I want you to use this hand. We're going to point right there. All right, you see that? That is what made it get really windy yesterday and got really, really chilly. Go like this. It's really chilly. This is how you tell everybody it's really cold outside. Okay, so then here's what we're going to do. We're going to show everybody what happens. All that cool air, I want you to point to the word cool. Where is that word cool at? It's all above you. Point above you. There you go. Perfect. Now all the warm air is coming below us. Point to that one. Right there. She is doing a great job. Now Arabella, you know what's going to be happening then over the next couple of days, right? It's going to be warm. It's going to be warm. She said it, folks. She's got it right. So give me a high five with that. Yeah. Now what I want you to do is to be my personal Vanna White. Stand right there and point at uh, all the numbers coming up on the screen. You ready? Here we go. Triple digits. Oh, all above everywhere. They're coming every day. It's going to be really warm. In fact, it's going to be really hot. Go like this. It's going to get hot, Whew, sweating all, all of it. In fact, if you, it, it, you sweat so much, it might take off all your hair. That's what happened to me back in the... No, it's not, that's not going to happen to you. That would be horrible. Uh, 90s for the mountain areas by Wednesday. There's going to be a lot of sunshine. And, of course, we're going to have no rainfall yet again. Oh, of course, you like it because you get to go play outside. But we need the rain. So, yay for the, the sunshine. Yeah. All right, Arabella, seven years old, everybody, helping me out with the forecast for today. You did such a great job. Thank you. You're welcome.